Hey guys, today our video is going to be on our litter box and storage routine. So first, I usually buy paper-based bedding, aka litter, for linen. The brand I get is called So Fresh, and it's really soft paper crumbles. As of right now, Lennon's litter box supplies are in my bathroom cabinet near her litter box. I keep the bedding, pee pads, a mini broom, and waste bags all in one place. As for her hay, I store it in this tall, skinny container. I live in a small studio, so this fits perfectly in any little nook or cranny, and it has wheels, which is great because I can slide it around. Now, this is what a very soiled litter box looks like. The bedding and pee pad will be soaked, you'll see lots of pellets, and it will usually be depleted of hay or the hay will be wet. This is when you know it's time to clean. I normally only have to clean out the litter box every other day. The pee pads and bedding are very effective at absorbing urine and it doesn't leak through the bottom. In fact, you'll most likely encounter the litter box to be dry underneath. I just roll up the pee pad and dump it into a waste bag. What you might find is some residue here and there along with scraps of hay which I dump out as well. If you find any staining or hard to remove residue, it's a good idea to wash the litter box. I only have to wash it about every two weeks. Rabbits like their litter box to smell like them, so there's no need to do this every day. I use some dish soap and warm water and just scrub the areas that need it. After this, I line the litter box with a fresh new pee pad and add two full cups of bedding on one side, spreading it out evenly. I do this because Lennon usually faces the litter box horizontally. On the other side, I add as much hay as I can. Rabbits munch on hay while doing their business as it helps with digestion. So this is the finished product guys, a nice clean litter box. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for being amazing subscribers and let us know what you want to see next. Bye.